I just hop on the beat when they land on me. Stiff on a nigga, play hard to get, but I'm harder to keep. Bitch, it got away to their birthday to go out of town, bro. Hi and welcome to another weekend vlog. If you're new here, my name is Misha Sheree of the Misha brand. This is a channel where we chat fashion, skincare, beauty, all the things. So if you're interested in that, take five seconds and go ahead and subscribe below. It's an act that costs you nothing and means so much to a small creator like myself. As you may or may not be able to tell, we are back in New York, guys. I literally dipped into Detroit for like a quick little trip. I just had to go handle some business and then I popped right back home. Um, so thank you for coming along with me while we ran some like little small errands, got a smoothie, um, I got a pedicure. Y'all, that pedicure, that pedicure, best pedicure I've had probably in my entire life. And I, my feet were in bad condition. Like they, he really needed to get them together. I didn't love the color. I was just trying to go for like a sheer nude, kind of like what you see here on my nails at the base of it before we go into the white ombre. And I think that, I think that he didn't think I knew what I was asking for. So he gave me what he thought I was trying to ask for. And I was like, no, I wanted a sheer pink. I got like Pepto-Bismol on my toes, but it's fine, girl. It's fine. I'm just grateful for the pedicure and I can just get a polish change the next time I go. So there it is. I'm just so grateful for the pedicure. I don't really have nothing crazy going on this weekend. No, well, tomorrow we have plans, but like today's kind of chill-esque, you know? Nothing, nothing really going on. Um, so I'm gonna unpack my bag. I literally just came from the airport like not too long ago and then I'll pick you guys back up later. So as you can see, I just came back from a walk. Um, I just have on this lemon. I forget what this top is called. It'll be linked below and then my little belt bag. And then I don't know how I can show you, but I, Lululemon has these like, <laughs> this is so wild the way I'm about to try to show this to you. Actually, no, I'll just do this. Okay, let me see if you can see now. They have these like location type of leggings. So these ones I got obviously in Detroit. This vlog has been a little fragmented and I do realize this. Um, yeah, I just didn't really have anything going on. The highlight of my weekend is literally today. So I'm gonna obviously, inc well not obviously because obviously I wouldn't be saying that based on the last two days, but I'm gonna include you guys in this activity that's happening today. Um, but yeah, I just went for a walk this morning. I got up around 7. I walked, hmm, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to activity. So I walked, where can I see my latest activity at? So today, this morning, it's 10.30, 10.27 to be exact. I walked 6 miles, 6.2 miles. 13,690 steps, three flights of stairs climbed. So I do feel like getting up early and getting walking in the morning has been just super beneficial for not only like my body, my physical fitness, but also just like my mind. Like I feel like I just have a clear head in the morning. So um, yeah, that's what I did this morning. Other than that, like yesterday, y'all, I just couch rotted. Do y'all want to see me couch rotting? I mean, I can show you. It's Definitely not a pretty sight, but I, I'll show it to y'all if y'all want to see. But I feel like a lot of time, my job recently has like really ramped up in how heavy, like my workload is just very, very heavy. So I feel like I'll be needing the weekends, especially as I'm getting adjusted to the workload to just kind of like recoup. So that's why the last couple of weekends it's just been like mad chill, but we're going to fuck up the night tonight though. But in the meantime, I'm going to watch church. So I'll pick you guys up later. Bye. Hey y'all, so it is a little bit of time later. I just finished watching church. I wanted to um, make sure that I updated you guys. So the, what was that, Friday? Had to be Friday. So on Friday, after you guys ran errands with me or whatever, we went and got smoothies, the things. Um, when my mom got off work, we like went to the mall and I didn't bring my camera just because I wanted to spend quality time with my mom. Again, I don't live there. So sometimes like, it's just nice to be able to unplug, but I did get myself a little treat and I wanted to show you guys what it was. I went to coach and I'm really bad at buying things for myself. I always think in my mind there's something that I could be doing better with the money, whether it's saving or, you know, just other things. So this was actually really, really hard for me. And a lot of times what tends to happen, sorry, I'm going to scoot you guys back. A lot of times what tends to happen is... I see something that I like and then again I logically talk myself into getting it 
Um, so when I was at the mall with my mom, we popped into the coach store and I was like, hmm, like I haven't worn coach genuinely since I was in high school a long time ago. And I feel like I had been seeing, you know, the new branding, the resurgence of coach, especially with everything from like the Y2K trending. So um, I have wanted a couple of pieces and just like I'm never in a Macy's. I'm never in like a place where coach is being sold. So I feel like there was never that like impulse type of motivation. But when I walked in, I kind of like naturally gravitated to this item. And it's a little bit outside my wheelhouse. Like it's not something a color or something I would normally get, but I'm going to show it to y'all. So here is the big reveal. She's so cute here. I'll give you a closer look at the texture. It's like a beautiful patent, um, pebbled type of texture. Super, super cute. I mean, the size is literally perfect. So you can kind of see like in comparison to my hand, how big it is. Um, it's just so cute. And when I walked in, they had this color they had black and then they also had like a cream which the cream i naturally i'm a neutral girl so i naturally kind of gravitated to the cream but then like i was like wow i really have a hole in my closet i don't typically wear a lot of red but i would say in the past two falls i've worn more red than i've ever had in my entire life so i kind of just always i have one red bag and it's like i get very tired of carrying it so i felt like this was a really really nice little purchase especially with the fall coming up so I love her and um, I, you know as you guys can see there's like little clasps here so on the inside I will show you guys there is um, like a strap so it does have I haven't even taken like the tags and stuff off but it does have like a strap now here's the thing the strap obviously has like silver I'm very much a gold girl but you know I think we can like move and make it work so yeah you'll just like attach these and the strap is also adjustable which is nice like it has these other belt notches so you can make it tighter or longer as you see fit and then here she is alone without the strap it seems like you know i like the multi-use that's like a selling point for me is because like if i'm walking through the city i can't be out here like trying to for a functionality piece like always hold on to the just the little the little teardrop handles or the top handle and she's pretty sizable like you have like quite a bit of room in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this back in there and this is kind of how I've been storing it but yeah very cute for a first little coach purchase in the 2020s 2024 so I love her and honestly well deserved because I'll be at work putting in work like I really work my tail off so it's like you know girl just treat yourself to something and it was like it was a reasonable treat you know what I mean like it wasn't I didn't I didn't come crazy designer, but it was like a really good treat. So, um, really excited about that. I actually have some content that I need to edit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we again have dinner tonight, so when it's time to get ready for dinner, then I'll pop back in and we can chit chat. I don't buy much, I buy lamb, bro. Cologne, Germany. Old McDonald's every time I land, bro. Big J rocks in both hands, bro, and all that. And I'm best dressed moving forward, yeah. Tiny Tats on, yeah. All that. Compton Cowboy, all that. Yeah. Big protein. 150 grams of protein. Y'all gotta stop playing, bro. I swear, bro. He gon' fuck up the world, excuse me, but is that your girl? If she tell, that's a good referral. He be GB talk crazy to me, but Kendrick know I like a regular girls. I'm not good with the regular girls. Damn, near want a veteran girl. I just might change your life. We ain't wearing no just heavy jeans. We ain't doing none of normal things. So you know what formal means? Critics saying that I lost the plot Principles, yeah, I'd rather not Messi about to come in hot Dot, uh, we don't fuck up the world Excuse me, but this that your girl Didn't mean to possess your girl Baby, I'm high profile Don't ever tell them you met me, girl They gon' think that you rep me, girl 5'7", I'm messy, girl I'ma pass you to Neymar He got time for your bestie, girl Niggas know that I'm best dressed Too high profile to access I ain't even got a fact check All I'm wearing is Wells Bar And I'm feeling good, I might wear no Matter of fact, let's stay platonic I just fucked, ain't that ironic? You can pick a bunk or bed Either way, I'ma want some head Messi led through me instead We grew up around trifling hoes You ain't did nothing, I don't know It's cool, baby, I'm too high pro I'm baby keem, I wouldn't call it close Messi, get them girls off the stage Cause somebody's gonna get taken Somebody's gonna invade on
on a one-on-one -on -one conversation I'm ducked off from the world I'm immersed in the PlayStation And I ain't worried about her It's a thousand hers out waiting We gon' fuck up the world Excuse me, but it's that your girl Didn't mean to possess your girl Baby, I'm high profile Don't ever tell them you met me, girl They gon' think that you rep me, girl Five, seven, I'm messy, girl Famous, but I'm not for sale Why you tryna possess me, girl? I mean, you know what upset me, girl Was like that when you met me, girl Cause he'll put you in princess shoes Elevate your respect, you too Here's 10K, I'm in a sexy mood Don't let the homies touch you, move Yeah, niggas know that I'm best Dressed with Martine when I bought Jess They sardines and I'm big fish Eat caviar when I'm depressed Take selfies, I'm in check with public Cornell, he go check the budget Far two million from my cousin Never gave it back, cause it's nothing Fuck it, yeah, good devotion. Uh -huh. Keep it focused, starship, is that a foreign? Hey, foreign? She's organic, skin is glowing, my heart is going Like wow Two it, personality, two phones, two emotions Like how? Girl, you get the notion Around It's not hard to notice Yeah, yeah That's a deep, 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 deep ocean That's why Chuddy says she's celibate I'ma keep hoping She's not Chuddy says she loving me I'ma be open I'll try back home I want to show you guys my entire outfit because I had to run out of the door and I didn't get to show you before so this is her also I brought out my little coach situation immediately so she came with me also it's not hitting obviously the same because I ate at the restaurant so like I now have food in my tummy but this is the look so we have really just like this sheer bodycon dress I put a bra and these like they're actually shorts that I will be wearing with a blazer. Like, you know, the micro short trend is in right now. So I then paired it with my little red kittens meow. And then obviously my newest member of the family, my little coach bag. As far as makeup, I feel like I mostly did what I normally do, but I did add like a little red lip just to give it a little bit of flair and this is the fit as i told y'all last time we are being very experimental in this season we are trying things this is probably something i would never feel comfortable to wear but i have to remind myself that i live in new york which is like you have the freedom to dress in the restaurant that we went to medusa so cute but it has very like miami tulum vibes so i felt like this was a good like new york approach to it you know what i mean so yeah this is the look it's time to take this makeup off though and then yeah i forgot to show you guys my super cute earrings i'm obsessed with them i got them at premark also i wore red lip which is like the outfit needed a red lip but red just also just gives so stinking grown that like walking around in the restaurant like i had to go to the bathroom you have to be so freaking confident and like i feel like that's the part that i'm working on is like feeling comfortable in my body so then feeling comfortable with what i put on you know the whole gamut so this was an exercise and it's really great and I got to link with my girl Chandler. I love her, my family. So, yeah. So I had a really good time at my date today. Um, something that I'm really trying to focus on is dating my friends and, and making it like sound like a cute little like event. But I say that to say like um, when I think about just life and my life experiences, I feel like having 
the friendships in my life has made my life experience is just so much richer and um just more um full like i feel like my interactions with my girlfriends leave my heart really full and i really appreciate that especially in times where like i've needed to lean on them more than like normal you know not anything like specific but just like in life i feel like you go through seasons where you need your girlfriends a little bit more and um i also have been a friend who has felt unappreciated i'm sure that i have in the past made some of my friends feel unappreciated just you know natural ebb and flow and something that i really want to be intentional about is not doing that with with my friends in this season if i can help it so um it was really important to me to like go to dinner with my friend dress up in the way that i would dress up if i was going out with my husband and i like, really make the experience special if that makes sense um that's also why i was like oh i'm gonna get flowers like this is what I would do if I was courting someone and I just, you know, want my friends to know that I appreciate them and that, um, you know, there's there's a lot of love flowing from this direction. And I think a lot of times, like, we look at other friendships and like, oh, we have they have such a great friendship. Um, but something that I'm being intentional about is like, OK, well, what am I bringing to the table? How am I contributing to a really good friendship space with my friends? Hence the dinner. So. Um, as far as removal, I just used some makeup remover wipes and took them off, took the makeup off. I like to then go after and like use this. This is Elizabeth Arden All Gone Eye and Lip Makeup Remover, which means it's going to be gentle enough for my entire face. And I like to do this to get whatever like residue makeup off that's still left on my skin. So I'm literally just adding a little bit of product Then I'm going to go in and just make sure everything is gone like as you can see there's still stuff on the cotton pad so you really do be needing a double cleanse whatever that means for you you might use a balm but something oil based that's going to really get the rest of the residue off your skin so like this pad done she still has all this product so i'm going to go in with another fresh one and just make sure we're really cleaning our face I've been low-key slacking on my skincare, not even gonna hold you. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna do like a little light cleanser today. Since I did put on like so, I put on maybe more makeup than I usually do. And it might just be the red lip that makes me feel like that. All right, and then just one last pad for good measure, just to make sure I got everything off. So super clean, as you can see. just going over my lips too because I had all that red on you know what I mean just making sure it's not staining it's out of my crevices okay so that's double cleanse and then lastly I'm gonna go in with this Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Replenishing Cleansing Oil so I'm just gonna wash how I normally do. I think you, it says you pump it into your hand while it's dry. Cool. So now what it says is to add water. I've done a balm, but I've never done an oil cleanse like this. So let's see how we feel about it. Just gonna add water now. It is lathering up a little bit, which is interesting. Because the oil, so you maybe necessarily wouldn't think that it would, but it does have some little lather on it. I'm not really seeing any product, but probably because I've already kind of double cleansed, so this is like a last cleansing step, you know? And I'm just gonna rinse. There's like, see, there's not really anything on here. So we're good, I'm just gonna wipe down. I have like a little, my clean skin club towels so even my towels clean so i know for a fact my face is clean so i'm good
All right, guys, and with that, we will go ahead and conclude this week's weekend vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and traveling from Detroit to New York with me. If you enjoyed this vlog, take five seconds and go ahead and subscribe. Um, if there's any additional content you guys would like to see, you can always leave it in the comments. And until next time, bye, stay weird. Here's PK, I'm in a sexy mood. Don't let the homies touch you. Yeah, niggas know that I'm best dressed with Martine when I go.